Hello and welcome to Sub 150, the show that teaches you stuff in 150 seconds or less. Today I'm in Bud Miller Park in Lloydminster, Alberta, Canada at the site of the world's largest sundial and I'm going to show you how to use AV mode on your Canon Rebel T5i or T6i. Before we start the clock for our practical demo, there are a few things you should know. AV mode is a standard feature of most DSLR cameras. You've probably seen many a photograph with a sharply focused subject in the foreground and a blurry or out of focus background. This visually appealing technique is called shallow depth of field and today I'll show you how to achieve it using your camera's AV mode in this practical demonstration. If you'd like to learn more about how Aperture works on your DSLR, check out my next video in this series. For today's demonstration, I will be using the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 lens. This is one of Canon's most affordable lenses, retailing at around $189, and it really is a little miracle worker that every aspiring photographer should have in their camera bag. While you can achieve shallow depth of field using your standard kit lens, the effect is much more pronounced when you're using this great little prime lens with a wide open aperture setting of f1.8. All right. Your time is valuable, so let's start the clock. Let's start by putting our cameras in AV mode. When you place your camera into AV mode, you're essentially telling it, I'll take care of the depth of field setting and you take care of everything else to make sure that my image is properly exposed. It's time for us to shoot. In order for us to achieve that shallow depth of field effect, you need to ensure that you have adequate depth in your image. My subject will be this post marker with the sundial and trees in the background. First, we'll switch our lens to manual focus. By focusing manually, we'll be able to ensure that our subject in the foreground is our focus point. Next, we'll adjust the setting to obtain a shallow depth of field. Use the control dial at the top of the camera to adjust the aperture, and you'll see the setting changing here on the screen. Using this particular lens, I'll set it down to f1.8 so you can see the pronounced effect of a wide open aperture. Okay, let's compose our image. Focus in on our subject and go ahead and take that shot. Here's my photo at f1.8. You can see that I was able to obtain the desired shallow depth of field effect with a sharp subject and a blurry or fuzzy background. Here you'll see the same image at higher f-stop values. Notice that as the aperture value increases, the lens will focus over a broader depth of field. And there you have it. Stop the clock. You just learned how to use AV mode to attain a shallow depth of field in your images. Here is your assignment should you choose to accept it. Find a suitable subject in front of a background with good depth. Take the same image at varying f-stops and compare the results in camera. Thanks for watching Sub 150. Check out my other videos in this series and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you found this useful. See you next time.